Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Uh, I think the streak might be a little higher... ...now? Because on the NLSS, I'm trying to think what today is, is Saturday? It might have been like a, last episode, the streak was higher than maybe it should have been. That's because I did a couple of runs on the NLSS, which I stupidly didn't wait for Nick's seed and just did them on my own seed and artificially inflated the streak, but I digress! Okay, a Lilith run. Right in between the Lost and the Keeper is a character that is a little bit better than both. 1-W-2-K-J-K-E-L. Let's do it up here. Uh, I'm no, uh, I'm no Lilith super fan, but she has her place in the game. And that place is lot well, there's a couple different ways you can do it. One is, get a fuck ton of familiars and, and roll around with, uh, the item you already have, uh, your active item, I should say, which is Box of Friends. Tears up is a good start. Um, the other one is just do what you do on every other character and get, like, really, really strong and possibly replace Box of Friends with an item that, uh, is a little bit more advantageous. There's just an alternate win condition, but it also takes a little bit more to get to that, uh, alternate win condition. It takes a lot of familiars. Which actually happens all the time. Not literally 100% of the time, but very, very frequently. As familiars are, um, you know, one of the most kind of ever-present kind of uh, upgrades in the game. Or side grades in the game, depending on uh, which one you, you're lucky enough or unlucky enough to pick up. But anyway, this is fine. SMB Superfan is an awesome pickup early on as basically any character, including even the Lost, um, or the Keeper for that matter. Um, gonna quickly try to finagle, I was gonna say 5 cents, you know what, let's shoot for 15 now, because we just got to 8. Oh, it's a wooden nickel, I spoke too soon, alright, 5 cents I'll be happy with. Because this amount of HP does make uh, an arcade kind of like an applicable uh, outcome for us here. I'm gonna not use Box of Friends, because this could be our boss room uh, adjacent to this room over here, and it is indeed. Will I do the L-shaped room? I'm 50-50 on it. Let's see what we get from our boss room. Let's see how the run looks when we leave that. Um, well, without having a bomb, Duke of Flies can be kind of annoying, but hey, this is where you're really happy to have a tiers upgrade, an SMB super fan, plus a charge on Box of Friends. Made that fight actually really, really simple. And PJs gives us a ton of spirit hearts, so sure, why not do this extra room? Um, I don't expect it to be a whole heck of a lot of fun, but uh, if we get a drop... That's the important part. Hard to aim these. The problem is, like, I can aim it, but then I also have to stand still for the aim to continue to work. That's four cents. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little risky here. PJ's has kind of enabled us to do that. Is it worth two spirit hearts to get one cent? No. In no world is that a good trade. However, there is a very narrow, like the sun is creeping through the clouds just enough that you can read your book here and discover an amazing algebraic theorem if our arcade ends up allowing us to get um, a blood bag as a result of the fact that it now can exist, then there's some value here. Uh, it's <laughs> a little risky, but you know, this uh, that was very bad damage. I, there were a couple of different escape routes I could have taken. That was worse though, I should have just kept moving around. Um, Anyway, long story short, I, I think we've got a bead potentially on making that bullshit uh, technique worth our time. But it could also kill us as well. Uh, but who dares wins? That's, that's the beauty of having played this game, you know, upwards of 13 or 1400 hours. I'm not saying I'm amazing at it, but I am saying that uh, we're at least competent enough that we can afford to fuck around with bullshit strategies that honestly should not probably have any case or place in working. It's like when... Uh, when uh, Kobe Bryant takes like a half-court shot or something like that, you're like, Kobe, that was dumb. I know he just retired, but yeah, that was dumb, but also you've earned it. And if you sink it, that level of bravado, it, it just becomes that much more, uh, I was going to say gravitas. That is a gravita gravitatical? A gratatatical? I can't remember. I'm not going to glorify the gratata guy. He's in jail now. I don't remember what for. That's irrelevant. The whole point is just that I saw that he was in jail and I said, I don't know that Gratata guy. I saw you on Tosh.0 once when Rob linked it to me. Now, we're almost <laughs> completely out of spirit hearts. Pretty much squandered them all. Am I thinking that my gambit still paid off? I never thought that it was going to pay off. I just thought it had a chance to pay off and be kind of fun while it happened. 
We get Mom's Pearls and another Spirit Heart, which is nice. And then Book of Belial. Book of Belial I'll take for the precedent, but I don't think it's worth holding on to long term. So let's uh, l let's enjoy the precedent and then move along here. It makes it a little less likely we're ever going to get the uh, the Blood Bank payout. Either IV Bag or Blood Bag. Okay. Spirit Heart and a Bomb is fine. Although I was kind of hoping we'd just get Bomb and Key. Or even like Key Spirit Heart. I don't know if that's a, a possible outcome. But if Bomb Spirit Heart is a possible outcome. And Key Bomb is a possible outcome. It sort of feels like, you know, transitive property should apply there. Even though it logically does not. Inside of our item room. Which we are very lucky to even be able to check. Is Marked. Marked is one of the very few items in the game that I still think is just too badly... Oh, God, get out of there. Badly transformative to pick up, if that makes sense. Like, it's not just that it transforms your run. It's that it transforms it so badly that I, I don't want any part of it. I would rather have Cursed Eye 10 times out of 10 than, than have Marked uh, at all. So, why run in there? That was just a, a idiotic decision. One thing that we could do here is um, start gambling on the arcade and, and use it for more than just the blood bag, which is not my normal course of action. And in fact, it's not what I'm going to do here either because of the fact that we can give this guy some money and he's got a pretty good chance to pay out with a, an HP upgrade, which is exactly what happened. Now we start to put together like a, a possible outcome for how we can get more out of this floor. We go up here and play this guy. Um, and there you go. That's exactly what you're looking for there. I think we try to shoot the moon. We got a bomb and the matchstick. We got the secret room out of that, and we got our bomb back. Now we got two bombs, and you start blowing these up, and if you get magic mush out of these, you just say, you know, thank you. Or any good pill. Yeah, there you go. You got a tears upgrade out of it. And, okay, good enough. You know, you, you can't always make something out of nothing, but I'm pretty pleased with the fact that we managed to actually kind of get paid dividends for that gamble we took on the last floor. And honestly, we're looking fine from an HP perspective now. Got another tiers upgrade. The rest of the floor was kind of 50-50, but hey, we got it done. And more importantly, we're looking still pretty good for the, for the future here. Without any bombs, we just actually cannot do that room. Now, it's up to me to not take the world's dumbest damage here. As I have so many times in the past. Just land that shot. Thank you. What are the, the prime deficiencies on this run? How are we going to, you know, get to the point where we can actually have some confidence in our chances to win? Uh, picking up one more Great Familiar would be awesome. Rotten Baby. Uh, little Brimstone. Succubus. I'm not sure if you can get a, a second Incubus. I think you can, they overlap one another, making it look like it has like twice the rate of fire or something, but it technically counts as two. I can't remember though, I don't know why that sticks out of my head as something that happened. Um, that's, that's one outcome, the other one is just make this one and occasionally two Incubus run that we have right now really, really strong uh, as a result of getting, you know, traditionally good upgrades. We don't really have a choice in the matter right now because we're, you know, no D6, no Perthro rune, so... Let's just uh, enjoy ourselves while it lasts. This will be an awesome time to get a Cricket's Head. We did not get a Cricket's Head, but at least we got our bomb back. And we may, in the future, actually be able to visit a shop. I know, it's a foreign concept, having enough keys to go to a shop. Must be uh, Christmas, man. Or whatever gift-giving uh, holiday you choose to celebrate or not celebrate, for that matter. Personally, I celebrate um, November 4th. It's Rebirth's release date. We give ourselves uh, copies of Rebirth. And we play Rebirth. And we say, oh, thanks, Rebirth. Thanks, Edmund. We got a big picture of him in like a red hat. And a big white beard. I have Nobody has ever celebrated this with me. I celebrated in silence at my Edmund shrine in the closet. And it's a great time. Um, let's, uh, ink you buddy this guy to death eventually. Pick up two guppy items in here. That is not two guppy items, that's five spiders. And one of those spiders is splitting into more spiders, which is against the Geneva Convention of Spiders as far as I'm concerned. I don't know if such a Geneva Convention protocol exists, but honestly, these spiders have been running around 
aided and abetted by um, our ignorance for too long, in my opinion. What am I talking about? Pestilence. So we're gonna pick up a cube of meat. This is a familiar, and it's an okay familiar to be getting one. Um, it, it doubles nicely, not incredibly, but nicely. And if we get to a second level cube of meat, it doubles really, really well. Or not doubles, but you know, increments really, really well. So, uh, yeah, being able to get fairly reasonably likely to a, a third level bandage girl is pretty good. Not run winning, but run helping. You know what? Bombs, are, even though we have matchstick, bombs are somewhat precious here. Probably would have been faster to just move the chest, but what's done is done. And we get a Joker card. We should use it right now. And uh, I'll take both. Mostly because uh, Multidimensional Buddy is a familiar. I think it's also okay. It's like a five and a half, six out of ten item, depending on you know what you got working with it. But uh, and remember, this is a Northern Lion five and a half. Not to say that I'm you know oh I'm in the arbiter of taste or something like that. But five and a half is still takeable, I guess you know. If you're starving, a, a meal that's a 5 out of 10 is going to taste pretty damn good. We're not starving, but we're a little peckish at least. I don't think the D7 is what we're looking for here. Um, you just go then. Just get the heck out of this floor. Um, I don't think I'm going to kill myself to respawn as Dark Judas because we'll lose the Incubus, I believe. But if we die and respawn as Dark Judas, that's fine. Now, we don't have uh, enough HP to play that Blood Bank. Like, we have no Red Hearts. We can, you know, now we've got like a third victory condition, and that is respawn as Dark Judas, and just use your increased tier rate to hopefully buoy you to a pretty easy victory here, but uh, it, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to get some HP on this floor and possibly make that happen with more likelihood. Okay, this is actually really good. Uh, I don't like that we're going to be fighting Champion Mega Fatty and Champion Mega Ma. Honestly, Champion Mega Fatty might be easier. Champion Mega Ma is going to be a total dick. Um, let's just get back here so that we can at least get as many shots in as possible before life becomes a total bitch. We were standing in the dream spot. I didn't think it would, that would happen, but fantastic. Steven's a good pickup. Anything that gives us a raw damage upgrade works well both as uh, Lilith and as Dark Judas in that hypothetical scenario. One thing we could do is actually... Oh, yeah, great, great damage there. Um, give our HP to the Blood Bank in the hopes of getting a Blood Bag... And if we die and respawn, oh, pardon me, if we die and respawn as Dark Judas, that's okay. And in fact, if we get the blood bag, we could deliberately kill ourselves, become Dark Judas, and then take the HP. But um, it's with the Curse of the Unknown, it's it's a little trickier. Friends till the end is fine. Uh, I'm gonna save our second key to use on the uh, item room, but a third key if we don't have the money for the shop, I'll probably use for. Um, Oh, we got a little brimstone from KMB and Conception. That is awesome. Uh, a third key I'll probably use to open that other golden chest we got from the uh, boss trap room. So this is a, it's a really good case for staying Lilith right now, I guess. The fact that we just got uh, a little brimstone, which doubles, obviously, or increments into two little brimstones, which is quite a lot of damage. We get Magic Scab. You might say, well, why would you take Magic Scab? Right now, if you kill yourself, come back as Dark Judas, you can get the HP from Magic Scab. You're not wrong, and I think there's there's just two viable courses of action we could take here, and that, that's part of one of them. If we end up losing the HP from this and still becoming Dark Judas, I'm not going to be that disappointed by it. Um, because at least we, we still get the luck upgrade, and HP, one HP upgrade rarely ends up being the be-all end-all. Sometimes it does, and admittedly, sometimes recently it's it's been the be-all end-all, but... Uh, I, I'm relatively unfazed by, you know, kind of not min-maxing one HP upgrade. There's other other fish to fry, but we'll see. Again, it's one of those plays I... Ugh, it's so bad. I kind of describe as as like it's a cute play, but I'm not sure if it's that good. Or that relevant. Two bombs. Well, we got a choice. We could either play this Judgment, or... It's actually a very easy choice because the right course of action is just to blow this up and maybe we'll be able to get a bomb from our shop and then we can still play the judgment. Uh, but there's a top tier item in here for us for sure. Car battery is going to be excellent when combined with our... Um, when combined with our box of friends. And I think we got a really good bead on a on a way out of here. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a little dumb. 
I'm gonna go for this. And if again, if we come back as Dark Judas, we come back as Dark Judas. Strength card. It's gonna give us like one more play before he starts taking Spirit Hearts. That's fine. We got Roid Rage. I'm gonna try to get this guy to pay out with HP. I believe. Mm, okay. Then we can do this at least once. Probably twice, actually, now that I think about it, because uh, we did use that strength card. That's not really what I was looking for. Uh, okay, blow up the key beggar. More red hearts. Min max these. We're just going to do it twice, because I don't trust my third HP to not come out of a spirit heart here. Okay, that's giving us HP back. And mom's coin purse. None of which are tears ups. Infested is okay. I found pills. Power pill. It still hurts us to use the IV bag, but we still can. Uh, because of the fact that we uh, we got the HP upgrade. We're very fast now as a result of that, by the way. Uh, okay, kind of a bust to come in here. Gotta admit, fairly glad I'm just still alive. And KB and Conception's working out pretty nicely, I guess. But we'll head down to the next floor now. And I think we got some okay value out of the, the remaining parts of that floor. I don't know what our HP is going to look like here, but I think that it went okay. Yeah, you know, that's um, maybe not as much as I would like, but it, it could be worse. And again, it, it's worth uh, it's worth more than it looks like even because of the fact that we're getting Cain being Conception hits out of it as well. Let's not go to that uh, special room yet. There is still a chance for us to do boss rush, and as Lilith, of course, boss rush is, is even more incentivized than normal because of the fact that it's really uh, easy to have a great boss rush run. Try to get as many shots in as possible through uh, multi-dimensional baby at the start of a room. And sure, I mean, we've got a really good chance of getting a deal with the devil on this floor, I suppose. Um, and I'll, I'll be content to pretty much take whatever they want or whatever they give me uh, and, and enjoy it. There's no reason for us to lose that half spirit off for coming in this direction, but it happens. Got our spirit heart back anyway. Pheromones. Lemon party. Uh, admittedly, nice pills so far. The run's been pretty good with respect to the pills. I mean, the two tiers upgrades are the, the cream of the crop right now, but we haven't really been screwed on pills at all. And that's another tiers upgrade. Maybe I should be nice to the pill rotation of the game more often and it'll pay me back in kind. Gotta get that key. Been a little uh, bit of a sore spot. Key deficiencies over the course of the run, but... Honestly, that's a byproduct. Us being able to do that dodge is a byproduct of the fact that we have uh, a decent amount of speed as a result of all the blood bags that we picked up. Were it not for those, I don't like my odds of getting through this. But man, car battery makes me really, really want to go to boss rush. We also just got a demon baby? I don't know if I should say just. Maybe we got it when we went into the curse room. It's hard to see because it's got like the incubus wings behind it. But yeah, I think we we must have came and conceptioned our way into a demon baby. Which is also like a pretty okay familiar. Not a run winner, but you know. Keep in mind that once every four rooms, that's three demon babies. That's not bad at all. It's looking real unlikely we're going to make boss rush. I think we take it, like, make an executive decision. Yeah, just take iron bar uh, and, and take some time on this room as well. Even if we don't have uh, box of friends active. This is a really good Rorschach, not Rorschach test, but like litmus test for how our uh, run is going, by the way, as Lilith. Uh, if we're not able to do this room without, or do this room easily without using Box of Friends, that's a little troubling. But we are able to do it easily without Box of Friends, so I feel okay about that. Uh, maybe if we get super lucky, we're actually not looking for a teleport card to take us out of Boss Rush. We're looking for one to take us easily to Boss Rush. So if I could pick up like an Emperor card, we have a, a real good chance of making this happen. Why do this room? Uh, why not, I guess. Okay, uh, not an optimal use of uh, of my bombs there. I gotta admit, I'm a little surprised by how quickly the, the time has kind of gotten away from us on this run. Pretty much got to swing for the fences now. Oh, no bombs, okay. 
Forget swinging for the fences. Now we got to come to terms with the fact that we are probably not going to make boss rush. Which I will only talk about 80 or 90 times over the rest of the episode. Okay, Mom's Knife is actually bad as Lilith. Two of Diamonds is pretty sick, though. Um, yeah, Mom's Knife is, is not a good Lilith pickup, I think. But we still have Little Brimstone. We also got the Mom Transformation as a result. And it's kind of interesting, at the very least. And I'm kind of interested, as well, to see how this looks um, once we double it. But... Certainly, this would make a great case for respawning as Dark Judas now. And honestly, that may be what I choose to do. Although, BFF, which we should have bought after Recycle, but um, BFF is a fantastic item for Lilith. So, I don't know. I Basically, I think we're coming to the point where I was talking about having like those alternative victory conditions. Every single one of those alternative victory conditions has worked out for us. So, effectively... Where's the Spirit Heart? Effectively, we, we basically can win whatever way we want to win right now. We could win with our cube of meat doing uh, all the damage. And by cube of meat, of course, I mean ball of bandages. No offense, man, cube of meat. Little gish and not a Krampus fight, but a guppy item. I'm going to crack into that. I think I'd rather have raw, like, absolute HP than, than something we can mess with. Haven't we gotten enough value out of blood banks for one run? That feels like a secret room that we will not be able to access. Gotta admit, a uh, little, little frustrating to have to aim this knife. It's kind of a first world problem, admittedly, but... I wish that uh, we could just walk into enemies. I don't think we have any evil ups, so... Black Feather, I don't think in particular, does anything for us here. Should get the bomb, but first, just check this out. Get the curse. Emperor? Is not the Emperor. Okay, now I've officially given up on our ability to get to the boss fight. And that's, or boss rush, I should say. That's okay, you know, dreams have got to die at some point. It's very sad. But um, there was one last chance for us to get the Emperor there. It didn't work out. Hey, at least we got to entertain our dreams temporarily, right? Most people don't even get that opportunity. You know, you want to be a pop star. You ever been on top of the pops? Probably not. I'm not saying that to be uh, derisive. I'm just saying, you know, having a sniff of the dream is uh, it's a step further than average. I waited for it to almost go down just so I could make a risky dodge. We've gotten one luck upgrade, I think. So, tough love. Uh, uh, two luck upgrades. One from a penny and one from... Uh, excuse me. Open this, please. Yeah. One from a penny and one from uh, Magic Scab. So, it's possible that we can get the occasional damage upgrade here. This must be a library? No, it's a double key room. Sorry. It's a key beggar, which I tried to blow up, but do not have a bomb for. And yeah, I'd say we're pretty much good to go. We didn't miss boss rush by much, but miss it we did. I'm hoping we get like an actual good deal with the devil. Like it's kind of amazing that we managed to build this run and, and build it pretty well without having a really good deal with the devil to back us up. Whatever you give me here, I guess I'm happy with. We'll take a lump of coal. And again, more of a more of a benefit as Dark Judas, I guess. I don't know. Uh, does Mom's Knife benefit from Lump of Coal at all? Mm hmm. Let's uh, let's just continue going here. This is kind of in keeping with the the Northern Lion Run tradition lately, which is just if you have a a shitty run. Not that this run was ever shitty, but if you got a slow run where you miss Boss Rush, you will make it to Hush. It's like the Northern Lion principle. Miss Boss Rush, you will get the Hush. I, it doesn't make any sense. In fact, it's very counterintuitive for that matter. Um, or is it? Maybe because we, uh, we're we playing slow, we get more advantages that actually let us go faster later. But I think that's that's convenient reasoning. And I call it convenient reasoning because I disagree with it. There may well be scientific validity to it. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice a Spirit Heart? They didn't take my Eternal Heart because I guess I don't have enough red hearts to have it take red hearts first so I mean in a way I guess we kinda got lucky that the logic was set up in that fashion but it was still suboptimal to play that thing to begin with but you know now we're at 10 HP instead of 11 Let's see what our boss fight has in store for us uh, we may get hit just cause it's hard to get maximum coverage on all these spiders but problem solved we get little Steven little Steven incremented twice is still not really a powerhouse but you know, the more familiars we add, I guess, incrementally, we get, uh, 
We get better performance. I don't know how we killed the hands there. They must have come down and been killed by like a little brimstone before I even noticed really what was happening. You guys see any tinted rocks? If you see something, say something. Dude, that was like an ideal pill outcome there. Friends till the end is okay. More bombs and keys. Retro vision. It's been a while since I fought Hush. Maybe this is the run where we where we make that happen. Oh, we get a tinted rock back there. Um, I mean, we have enough keys. Even if I go to this double key room, which I plan to, we have enough keys. We got range. Not so much with Mom's knife, but definitely with uh, Little Brimstone. We got good damage, and it, it keeps getting a little bit better. Double key room. Mm, now we do not have enough keys. I'm not going to open that last golden chest. I really thought that we'd get a key or two keys out of some of those. Three keys is still enough to get to the meaningful, you know, the meat of the chest, though. Or of, of the blue womb, I should say. Yeah, maybe we'll do it. We'll also see, you know, it, it could depend on what our deal with the devil ends up being. Uh, if we get a deal with the devil here at all, which is, I guess, relatively unlikely. Oh, such poor dodging there. And of course, every extra floor we go to is theoretically an HP upgrade um, from Maggie's Faith, but I have to admit that it's, you know, like I said earlier, rarely is a run decided on the back of, uh, on the back of one HP upgrade. I guess if we die, we also become Dark Judas, so it's not that bad. The thing that bothers me is that I'd really like to get more than one, well, more than two, I guess, increments uh, on the Hush fight, which we can only do if we get the... I'm trying to think. We get like a 48-hour energy pill, or we get Nun's Habit, so every time we get hit on the Hush fight, which inevitably we are going to get hit a little bit, um, actually gives us another you know quarter of a charge. Very poor dodge again. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'm not going to use my... That's exactly the keys we want again. Uh, I'm not going to use my doubling or incrementing on Mom's Heart, because I want to save it for... The potentiality of making it work for the hush. Again, the dodges, man. Just like slight lapses in concentration and acumen here are causing problems. I need to get some huge acumen and, you know, get me to straighten up and fly right. I will take this. Uh, it's dangerous, but the extra 1.5 damage has got to be good. Seven keys. Yeah, we can open everything. Uh, nothing really in there. I guess we go fruitcake? I don't know if it even does anything for us. Um, we... Uh, no, definitely bloody lust. I was thinking, we might as well take another familiar, even though we already have one demon baby. That is the wrong course of action. Do not do that. The devil card is pretty good. Guppy said, you know... There's a few extra flies. Six, I guess, which is not bad. Do we really want anything in here? Probably the spirit heart. And apart from that, I think we'll just double up, use this devil card immediately. And, uh, hopefully get a lot of good shit done here. We're not really hitting with the knives. And I just got hit by something that I didn't even see. That doesn't mean it wasn't there. This, you know, means I didn't see it. I think we should be fine here. I mean, this this floor went okay. The infamy pickup is good. Uh, third level bandage girl, you gotta really get in there. And bloody lust just gives us like a. I was gonna say indescribable, but I don't mean that. But a a fairly robust damage upgrade. The more we get hit, which is good. However, um, there there is no however. The however is this is a good situation. Just keep holding the fire on here. We're getting through each phase in like 10 seconds at most, so I don't know if it's because it takes us a while to charge up the knife. Not a long time, but you know, we're not continuously firing, I suppose. Uh, maybe that's giving us like enough time for the armor to go away from the hush. And as a result, we're doing like the full brunt of our damage. And also, I guess we've just got a lot of damage as well. That's the other benefit here. Okay, bandage girl, get in there. Oh my god, just stand up for like more than a second here. The longer you go down for, the 
The harder it is for me to keep my familiars in line. That was like really, really poor dodging on my part, but he didn't get penalized for it. And dude, Lion's Law is holding up here. We're gonna be out of hush in time to do hush again if, if we were so inclined or, you know, if that functionality existed at all and wasn't just a pipe dream. Hey, that's a great change for Afterbirth Plus, the ability to loop hush. Do this fight uh, 17 times uh, every run. That's the new standard. Please, no. I, I get it. I get it. You're a bullet hell boss. Just pop up. It's no fun fighting a boss that is arbitrarily invulnerable for huge swaths of time. It was worth it though. I'm, I'm glad that we. Uh, I'm glad that we did it. We're gonna leave with a decent amount of HP regardless. Decent item pickups. No real problems. Well, slight real problems. HP is not great, but um, I, I imagine it'll hold. Mostly as a result of the fact that we kill things very, very quickly. But every extra spirit heart counts. Just try to not get hit by these little silkworms. These are the silkworms, you know, of my nightmares here. They're so teeny tiny. We fill the screen with a thousand shots. And then I got no idea where these little teeny tinies have gone. I'm trying to save our... Uh, our charge here for a room that's worthwhile, and I would say that this is the first one I've seen. Champion Monstro 2. BFF is doing some great work here. I don't want anything from you. Change into a monster that shoots keys and drop some keys for me, please. I know that we can get that chest, but I'm... Do you trust me to go in there and not get hit by either of those bombs? Oh, you do, do you? Okay, well, let's give it a shot then. You know what? Without, uh... Without your support, I wouldn't have done that. Thank you, hypothetical uh, cheerleader that I've created in my dreams. We think uh, we got one guppy item. If we can get into our curse room for free, I will do so. We probably will not be able to. A lot of lot of different options for uh, secret room locations, but we got very lucky, and actually, we will be able to go to into our into our curse room for free. Um, if we can just get. I mean, keys? <laughs> two guppy items? I, we're kind of shooting for the moon here, but uh, if we're not going to get two guppy items, just give me keys, man. And I'll be able to use a bomb to get into what I guess has to be a library. Uh, there, are, I, I can't really think of any books that I'd be interested in taking over what we've already got here in, in Box of Friends. The damage output is just too good. But if we get Satanic Bible or Book of Revelations, we can at least get two charges. Oh, it's just cards, man. What a waste. High Priestess, Stars, Strength. I think he probably takes Strength. I was really hoping for a Satanic Bible or Book of Revelations, then use that Battery Charge with it. Or that Battery Charge, for that matter. Don't open that. It's just an insult to give me all these uh, Golden Chests when I don't even have Guppy's Tail. Like, you know, was, uh, it was born at night, but it wasn't last night. That should hit me. I got extremely lucky to not be hit there. Probably to not be hit by that Silkworm as well. Uh, and honestly, I think we just pop this, and then we probably continue to save our Strength card. There may come a point at which we become Dark Judas. Ah, oh, that was bad damage. And and we, we really feel like we need this Strength card to stay alive, so let's just wedge ourselves in here. Go down to the chest with two keys, I think. Three keys. Enough to... Enough to feel somewhat confident. Oh, okay. The mind is hugely valuable here. Hot bombs, not so much, and the D12, not at all. But the mind is huge. Now I'm not going to go in the wrong direction. I'll just go directly to the boss fight. Um, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the quality of an item that could literally be replaced by a single sun card. And not replaced, but surmounted by a single uh, emperor card. But... You know, we didn't get a Sun card or an Emperor card, so I'm happy with what we got. I really cannot be persuaded to get rid of Box of Friends now. If you want to give me Shoop the Whoop or, you know, six Shoop the Whoops as a result of doing this room, more power to you. I'm not invested. Um, I, I will politely decline. You're not invited to join the Shark Tank with us. I don't know, what, what do they say in, uh, in American Shark Tank? On Canadian Dragon's Den, they say, I'm out. Which means they are not in. In case you have a, a, a contentious ambiguity with what they're saying there. 
on the shark tank, they should just bite them in half, man. In the dragon's den, they should lower them slowly into an incinerator. Look, it may be slightly unethical to murder somebody on television, but it would make for great TV. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying they should do it. I'm just saying it would improve ratings once or twice. You don't have to do it every show. This is going to be an annoying room. Uh, a room on which I'm very tempted to use Box of Friends. But I'm going to abstain from that desire because of the fact that I think if I use Box of Friends, I may not have it ready for the Blue Baby fight. But to be honest with you, this room is probably more difficult than the Blue Baby fight. At least in terms of having to fucking aim. Okay, drop your bomb up here. Cricket's head. Mmm, piercing shots don't really do anything for us here. This is an ideal room. Let's do this stuff. Okay, pop the strength card. Um, pop the strength card, I said. We're basically done already. By the time I pop that strength card, we're... You know, we've set the wheels in motion for something that's gonna make this basically unstoppable. Good run. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.